Okay, so since you're here, I assume that you figured out that some things in bioinformatics that should be super simple are uh, crazy hard to figure out. And there is no central repository for all of the knowledge on how to do all of this stuff. And so what ends up happening is people end up having to, to recreate the wheel over and over and over again. Uh, you know, as far as downloading sequences from the databases, uh, that's one that there's about half a dozen, maybe even more uh, ways to do uh, using R. However, uh, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the, the simplest way of downloading sequences uh, from the NCBI database uh, using R. So in this case, I've gone to the NCBI database and I see a couple of sequences that I want to download. So I got this sequence here, which is an alpha act 10 n from Salmo Salmar. And then I have a Drosophila sequence here that I want to download. So I want to download those two sequences. So the way I would do that is I need these two accession numbers and a very short sequence of code uh, in R to do this. We're going to use the uh, traits package. So if you don't have traits installed, uh, you're going to come over here to the packages and you're going to click install and you're going to type in traits and you're going to select it and you're going to click install uh, and make sure that you leave install dependencies uh, checked on there. There's actually quite a few. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. Once you have that done, the code to retrieve those sequences is super short. So all you're going to do is you're going to call the library, library traits. You're going to create a variable, which is going to uh, ultimately be a data frame uh, that's going to house those sequences. And then you're going to use this, uh, this real simple function here, ncbi underscore by ID. And then you're going to tell it what IDs to look for. And the IDs that we're going to look for, if you're going to look for multiple IDs, you're going to use this C designator here. And you're going to put the accession numbers in quotes, okay, with, with parentheses around them. So these are the two accession numbers from NCBI from right here. I have them in the NCBI by the function. Uh, and then once it puts them into that data frame, we're going to print uh, the gene description as well as the sequence for the description. So let's just see how this works. Okay, so here is the gene description for the first sequence, which is this one from Salmo Salmar, as well as the sequence. And here's the Drosophila sequence, or the Drosophila description, as well as the sequence. Now then, what if we wanted to, uh, let's say, maybe have the accession number uh, instead of the, the description? How would we get that? So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to copy that line of code, and then we're going to change uh, what we want at the beginning here. So instead of saying gene description, we're going to hit the dollar sign, and then we're going to say ACC, and then it pops up accession no. So, and that's going to give us the accession number plus the sequence. So let's see how that works. Sometimes the, the database uh, is kind of slow and didn't 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 pick up and you, you miss a you miss a, a call. So let's try it again. So there, it worked that time. Uh, we have the accession number and for both sequences, and we have the sequences. And this the the accession numbers that you include here, it could they could be two or they could be twenty different uh, sequences, and you have a full record of those sequences. So in other words, you don't just have the accession number and the description. If you look over here in your seeks data frame, you'll see all of the different designations for each one of those sequences that you have. So we could call any one of these for those sequences. We could call paper title, for example. Let's just see what the paper title. We can see see uh, what papers 
site or presented those uh, sequences first. So now we have the paper titles for each one of those sequences. If we wanted to include uh, additional uh, descriptors for each one. So let's go and let's say that we want to have the accession number first. So we can say six accession number. And then let's do uh, six and uh, gene description. So gene underscore DSC. Come. So we should get the accession number, the gene description, the paper title, and the sequence. Okay, and there we go. We got it all right there. So all of that is stored in this data frame. So that's how you retrieve sequences from the NCBI database with basically three lines of code um, and store them in a data frame. Once you have them in a data frame, you can do whatever you want to with them. You can do phylogenetic analysis. You can do GC content uh, analysis. You can look for restriction sites. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with the sequences once you have them in the data frame. So uh, that's how you download from NCBI. I hope that helps you out and I hope it gets you further ahead. Uh, if you like the, the video, then please like it on YouTube and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.